Hello, this is going to be a lesson on a John Fahey song called The 101 is a Hard Road to Travel. The tuning for the song is standard tuning, so E, A, D, G, E. I'll go through the song once and get into the lesson. Okay, so you can see that the song is kind of split into two halves, the first one being this, and the second one being this. Okay, so starting with that first half, it's just a whole bunch of chords that you'll have to kind of link together. So the first chord, and what's going to be your home chord, since it's in the key of D, is this D major chord, which I find the easiest way to fret it is by barring the top four strings on the second fret, then hitting fifth fret of the fifth string, fourth fret of the fourth string, then you'll have the third string on the bar, and then the first fret, or uh, the third fret of the second string, and then this, the first strings on the bar. So it's actually like you're hitting a C chord, but this finger acts like the nut as if you were playing a C chord just moved up. So you'll get used to this chord quite a bit. It's a tough one to fret, but the more that you play it, the more precise your fingers will be in switching to this chord over time. So the alternating bass will be on the 5th and 4th strings. And I'll mention throughout this song, if the first note of the bass line is on the 5th string, the alternating bass is on the 5th and 4th strings. If the alternating bass starts on the 6th string, it's between the 6th and 4th strings. So you've got this D major chord shape. And to start out, you'll just sweep up on the 2nd string twice. down to this F sharp chord. This is how I fret it. It's a wrap of your thumb to the 2nd fret of the 6th string, hitting the 4th fret of the 4th string, 3rd fret of the 3rd string, 2nd fret of the 2nd string. Remember bass line since it starts on the 6th string now, it's 6th and 4th strings. Sweeping up on the 2nd string. In the same way. the G, which is very easy to fret, it's only the 3rd fret of the 6th string, open 4th string, is the bass line, it's sweeping up on the 2nd string. And then you return to the D chord, and sweep up on the 3rd string of the chord. Then you hit the 
second string, and then you go into the G chord. So that's the D chord, swept up on the second string, and then the G chord, remember it's only the third fret of the sixth string. And you can hit a pickup note there to kind of fill in the space. up on the top string after that. And then the next chord, this is the A major chord. Top 4 string 2nd fret, 5th string open, 5th and 4th strings are your bass line, and you'll just hit this 2nd string and 3rd string. using the third string. To kind of lead into things. So that's kind of actually the part one of that first half. Part two of the first half just ends a little bit differently. second fret, except now you'll add the fifth fret of the second string, and you can do a pick up into that second string, using, I use the third string there, so you can try cycling that. And then you just end on the D chord, doing a pick up note on the top string, and then the second string. So all together. string and actually add in the second string below it. Slide up to this chord. It's a bar on the top, well all strings, 7th fret, add in the 9th fret of the 4th string, 8th fret of the 2nd string bass line on the 6th and 4th strings, and you'll just sweep up on the top string, like that, so. And then you've got 
flat. The D chord again, except fret it a little bit differently so that you can hit this fifth fret of the top string. So it'll be fifth fret of the fifth string, fourth fret of the fourth string, third fret of the second string. Bass line, fifth and fourth strings. And you'll just hit that kind of picking pattern on the top string and second string. Top string on the fifth fret. into the top string and then hit the fifth fret of the second string and now to finalize this first half you will just repeat most of that except the ending will just be a little bit different. You'll hit this D chord again. Fifth fret of the fifth string, fourth fret of the fourth string, third fret of the second string, fifth fret of the top string. And you'll go second string, first string. Except at the very final end, you'll hit a bar on the top two strings, third fret. Since your first string, first finger will already be there. From here, you release your pinky, and you'll hit the top string on that bar, third fret. Go to the G string or the G chord, third fret of the bottom string, open top strings. Uh, oh, pardon me, the A chord, top four strings, second fret, string up on the bar, fifth fret of the second string, and back into the D chord. Okay, so. Before moving on to the second half, I'll also mention that when kind of going through all of these chords, they're all like little train modules that you'll have to link together. And the more you do it, the more your fingers and muscle memory will go straight to the chord shape with, this, with less and less wasted kind of where am I supposed to go energy. So in order to do that, Apart from just spending a lot of time practicing the chords and just play, doing the whole broken record exercise of just repeating certain transitions. between chords, this will help a lot. For example, between this D chord and the F sharp, the fourth fret of the fourth string is always there. So that allows your hand to almost anchor so that it doesn't go flying everywhere. And it's something that you can, it's this pivot that you can kind of work around and those little things like not your hand not flying everywhere, those little split seconds help a lot. So finding those commonalities, or even just hand shape. That was partly why this fingering was used, because 
it doesn't require much movement of your hand. And also, for example, from here. common note, you can actually lead that with your ring finger. And in fact, you can, I think, hear John Fahey do that slide. So maybe he did a similar fingering. But those sorts of things help anchor your hand and save time. Okay, so I'm going to make a new camera file for the second half just in case it cuts out. Okay, so for the second half of this song, it'll go like this. And interestingly, in the second half, no more than two strings are ever fretted at the same time. All of it is pretty much with these picking patterns that kind of add a lot of the, what sounds like quite a bit of complexity. But starting off, it'll be just these two strings. 5th fret of the 4th string, 3rd fret of the top string, open 2nd string, and you're just going 4th string, 2nd string, 1st string, back to the 4th string, and capping off with the 2nd string. So you just got that shape. second fret of the fifth string, third fret of the second string, and fourth string open. And then go back up here, kind of shimmy back and forth, pinch. is a pinch on the 4th and 1st strings, and then going 3rd string, 2nd string, 4th string, 1st string, 3rd string, 2nd string. So all together that's... repeat that. But once you get here, you'll get to this part. Third fret of the fifth string, fifth fret of the second string, alternating bass on the fifth and fourth strings. treble side, all you're doing is sweeping up, and then you move down to this chord, 5th fret of the bottom string, 6th fret of the 3rd string, alternating bass on the 6th and 4th strings. shimmy back and forth. And then you'll go to this chord shape, 5th fret of the 5th string, 2nd fret of the 2nd string. And you'll go 3rd string, 2nd string, 3rd string, 2nd string, toggling.
things I've had to reshoot just this last little bit. So sorry that it's much darker. Unfortunately, the sun is setting a little bit sooner these days where I am. But um, yeah, there shouldn't be too much left. It just lands into this G chord. After you finish this section, you just land into the third fret of the bottom string and top string, alternating bass on the sixth and fourth strings. up on that top string, catching some of the open strings below. Again. And then he tags the ending, which means you just repeat that last little bit one more time. it. So hopefully that helps with the 101 is a hard road to travel by John Fahey. Thanks a lot for watching.